Oh, okay, wow. <laughs> let's just go ahead and skip right ahead, shall we? Oh, that's loud. Oh my god, oh my god, it's starting. No way. We're starting, starting. Oh my god. Welcome to the Future Game Show at Gamescom, presented by Sid Meier's Civilization 7. I'm Ned Luke, though. You might know me best as 2013's Father of the Year. <laughs> Michael DeSanta from Grand Theft Auto 5. And I'm here today nope, to run you know. guys through a boatload of exclusive video game news. But every big score requires partners in crime. And thankfully, I got one of the best in the business here. How you doing, Alex? Hi. How you doing? So good to be here. Howdy to the folks at home. My name is Alex McKenna, and I played the ruthless outlaw Sadie Adler in Red Dead Redemption 2. Ned and I could probably deliver a mean seminar on virtual robbery, but we've got a red hot haul of video game trailers to show you instead. That's right, and over the next 90 minutes, you can expect world premieres, developer presentations, and gameplay deep dives on the most exciting upcoming games. Yeah, we'll also have plenty to share about Civilization 7 as part of our collaboration with the team at Firaxis Games, but more on that later. Yeah, for now. You really need more information on Civ 7? Cool, all right. There's been six others. You know what kind of game it is. Make sure you got a lot of popcorn within arm's reach because our first world premiere is coming. I don't think anyone's confused on what Civilization 7 is going to be like. World premiere. There is a house. Oh, DMC for sure. <laughs> you can't do House of the Rising Sun. Just straight out the gate with it. So the, these game trailer shows get claimed the hell and back, so it doesn't matter. Wow, he's just part of a museum. Zoo. Tycoon. Roller Coaster 3. Oh. I haven't seen this guy in forever. Mars Attracts. Oh. Interesting crossover, but okay. <laughs> Well, how about that for an opener? <laughs> Mars Attracts is a park builder based in the Mars Attacks universe, and it's coming in 2025, so make sure it's on your wish lists. Next up, we've got brand new gameplay from Spine, the Gun Fu action epic. Check out this trailer, soundtrack by John Wick composer Le Castlevania. Tensor, an autocratic AI control. Yeah, I've seen this before. It's the one that's like, um,. It took over the government and let the, the Arkham combat the place apart. They've taken my brother. It's time to fight. Redline, I got your back. Always. Yeah. The only thing I worry with a game like this is like how much freedom you actually have. Like if you see the freedom to be creative and kind of play it your way, that's awesome. But if you're like super locked in. 
to what it wants like it consoles so get it on your wish list kind of get stale that you can find all of the games featured in today's show on our official steam page i mean just type future game show into your search engine and click on our steam page okay well this next game is a mixed media shooter where players embark on an expedition to atlantis Ooh. let's check out the explorator Peaked my interest on this one. Did I say it was a shooter? Oh, maybe here we go. Okay, yep, no, man. <laughs> You got me. I was, I was worried there for a second. I was like, did I miss you that? My ears going bad? Soon, but there's a demo on <clears throat> Steam right now if you want to check it out. <laughs> All right. 4X fans, you've waited long enough. It's time for your first taste of Sid Meier's Civilization 7. Let's take a look at the first... I've, I've, seen, I've seen enough Sid Meier's Civ 7. Now... This is more Civ 7? Uh, no. Nope. Sid Meier's Civilization 7 is coming to PC, consoles, and Switch mm -hmm. on February 11th, 2025. We'll have more from Firaxis later in the show, including a special more? gameplay trailer. So what do you mean, more? Our next game actually came out yesterday. <laughs> so, I imagine some of you are already playing it, right? <laughs> Probably raging at bosses, googling guides. If not... This Googling. Might just convince you. Just Googling. For Black Myth Wukong. Master, are there more good folks in the world or bad? God skip. More good. No. Of course. Then why is there always suffering? And why do the bad folks always win? Because goodness without no skip. teeth punishes not. It only Foments evil. Cleanse the world with blood and grow lotuses in it. That is your destiny. Yeah, you want me to skip the Civ 7? <laughs> I, the keeper <clears throat> of the New West, welcome the destined one. The destined one who doesn't even know what he's destined for? Old rascals, they surely know how to name. Tell me, is my kind destined for extermination? I'm gonna skip the next anime gotcha game. Not destiny. So, this is the face of the destined one. It will fit me just as well. Bathed in blood, yet preaching peace. Oh, you immortals, pray enlighten me. What justifies your superiority?
Whoa, confront it yesterday. Good, confronting. Oh my god, I'm confronting. Confront Destiny and Black Myth Wukong, which is out now on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. By the way, if you're enjoying the show, head to the link on the screen and fill out that F Whoa. Survey. chance at winning an iBuy Power gaming PC complete with an AMD Ryzen 7 CPU and GeForce RTX 4070 with over 50. Wow, 4070. Okay, another world premiere now. But if you watched our summer showcase, you <gasps> might know already what it could be. I thought it was Tales of Iron 2 for a second, but I think it's a different game. Kind of remember this frog. Nope, don't remember it. Looks cute though. Which reminds me I need to play Celeste. This will absolutely be at a GDQ once it comes out. I see like, a game like this, I'm like, alright. <laughs> I know I probably won't play it on launch, but I will definitely see it at like the next GDQ. Indie platformer from developers who worked on Cuphead and Rick and Morty. It's coming soon to PC. So, you know, you can add it to your wish list now on Steam. Hey, we're taking a look at Monaco 2 now, the sequel to the indie co-op heisting hit from 2013. You know, it's all about the joy of improvising when your best laid plans inevitably go awry. But we wouldn't know anything about that, <clears throat> would we, Ned? No, no, absolutely not. Mm -mm. I am a man who wants it all. Money, power, respect. But do you know what I want most of all? I want Monaco. Right, let's go over the plan one last time. Today's heist, like every heist, is another step toward the prize so long denied me. Cosmo will distract the guards with her ah, darling pooch. Cicero will make sure they nap at the playtime. <laughs> Find Jobby the time he needs to shut down the machine. If the plan goes awry, no matter. Una will keep it on track. And we'll walk away. One step closer to the top. Or you run away, as the case may be. Heist by heist, we'll make this city ours. Or they may chase us. But we'll always be one step ahead. This is my city. Do you have to play as four? Empire of crime. Four players? Is or can you, like... Swap between Start characters. Together because Monaco Two is coming to PC in 2025. Seems like you need all four We're taking for the heist. A look at Raven's Watch now. It's an action roguelike from the creators of Curse of the Dead. God. Would be necessary. Yeah, maybe. My forgotten legend. Peggy sixteen. You are forgotten no more. No need to thank me. Provisional. See how far you've come. Back to me. Looks like it has the same sort of graphics as like uh dark and darker. Not dark and darker. Uh darkest dungeon slash don't starve. Okay, it's kind of cool. The fated moment approaches. Get ready. <laughs> so game to demo. Yeah, I just don't mess with demos. Oh, the Baba Yaga. Those look pretty cool though. Raven's Watch. Next month. 
Like, like, oh, I have guess. Raven's Watch is launching later this year. So why they give you the exact date and then tell you fall? It's, yeah, I see. Can't wait to play it. Now we've got a new trailer for Zero Space, a story-driven real-time. It looks pretty cool. It's not one I'd probably play on launch, but definitely add it to the list. First out here, and we will not be the last. We will do everything in our power to protect humankind. Standing with the Keeper Council. My guys, it's Civ Seven. Oh my God. Strategies to stave off the never-ending threats. Yet sacrifices must be made. Our enemies and allies alike watch with hungry eyes, ready to betray and undermine. And still, we must move forward together. Rogue, yeah, it looks like ro roguelite ish. Looked like Hades and like a the Don't Starve universe. Definitely be adding it to my wish list. Every decision has a consequence. The choice. It's hard each night. Yours. Gotcha. Zero space is coming soon, so get it on your wish list. You can also support the game on Backer Kit to get access to the upcoming Backer data. Kit. Let's so keep it rolling with another world premiere. This one's an atmospheric puzzle adventure game set in the northern latitudes. Okay. You've piqued my interest. Now show me something cool. <clears throat> Tomorrow head. Not familiar. Civ 8. <laughs> we had. Bioshock 4. Again, there's always a lighthouse. Talk with crowds and keep your virtue. Or walk with kings, nor lose the common touch. If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you. If all men count with you but none too much. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run. Yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And which is more, you'll be a man, my son. Speed running. I will find you. Follow the light. All right. Will follow the light is coming to PC, Xbox, and PlayStation in 2025. Alex. Mm. Okay. I mean, looks interesting. Well, I think Wouldn't it's about time that we more puzzle parts, but to watch yearbook, don't oh. you, Ned? First up is Greedfall 2. The Dying World, which promises an even deeper RPG experience than its predecessor, if you can believe that. Ooh, Greedfall 2. Birtitimad, <laughs> Garans. Welcome back to the world of Greedfall, where adventure and political intrigue await at every turn. Your future is in your hands. As you wow. survive amidst greed and corruption. <clears throat> the year is 1231, three years before the events of Greedfall. You're in I, I don't even know the first game, honestly. As this adventure dawns, I thought Greedfall was like the Amazon game. A sage, that was kind of like of your people's knowledge and a, a souls thing. But just as you're I think that's something else entirely. Initiation, you are abducted by strange warriors from Gakan, the old continent. I have no idea what Greedfall is. To the hull of a monstrous tall ship. After a long and arduous journey at sea, you disembark on the shores of Gakan and discover this foreign Gakan. where people have grown distant from nature and now war and conspire amongst themselves. You now seek passage back to your homelands. 
All the while, you must thwart the plans of the terrible man who kidnapped you in the first place. What? While Greedfall oh, good can. introduced the enchanted island paradise of Tirfredi, Greedfall 2 takes you beyond the island shores to the old continent of Gakan, cradle of the factions that struggle for dominance over Tirfredi. You will explore the crowded cities of Gakan and its various landscapes Gakan. by the different factions, cultures, and traditions that have inhabited them over the centuries. You will have to decide where you stand when you inevitably become embroiled in their internal conflicts. But you will not be alone in your quest. You will quickly meet unique and memorable companions on your journey who may join your group. Discover their stories and make them a part of your group as you explore new realms together. Forge meaningful bonds or even romances. <gasps> you get closer to them and learn more about their background. What? You are the author of your own legend, Donnygad. Choose and master the path of the sage you want to be, whether through diplomacy, bargaining, stealth, or your keen sense of observation. Your tracking vision may reveal clues in your environment. Use your talents, craft new tools, and get help from your companions to increase your odds of success. Of course, the use of force is always an option to adopt as you see fit. Greedfall 2's all-new combat system puts you in control of combat more than ever before. Use the tactical pause at any time to stop the action and plan your group strategy, either on tactical pause or in real time. You can control all the members of your group and give them instructions using action points. So it's up to you to craft the perfect tactic to defeat your enemy. Change your combat style as you progress by drawing from the wide range of skill trees offered. Choose the style that suits you best, whether you're more of a melee fighter who uses traps, a range shooter with support spells, or even a master of poisons. <clears throat> you can no. hone and develop your allies' fighting styles as well. Find the best synergies between your companions and overcome your enemies with the party that suits you best. Your destiny is in your own hands. Greedfall 2 is a thrilling it's a long trailer. That takes you on an <clears throat> unforgettable adventure where your choices shape the future of your group, your people, and the world. The story is yours to write. Yeah, this is a whole presentation. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. Greedfall 2 is launching into Steam Early Access on September 24th, 2024, with a full release coming in 2025. Okay, now we're shifting gears to focus on a Kimbot, a robo buddy cop 3D platformer. Yeah. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Launch trailer, let's go. Call me Shipset, what's your ID? Lexi. Just follow my plan and we're home free. Three, two, one, go! Hmm, that's a claptrap, dude. <clears throat> Pumpkin Jack. <coughs> Pumpkin Jack always looks like an interesting game to play. Fled to a planet. Never gone to it though. His awful army and plotting to acquire so, the it, artifact. Probably very platform heavy. In a volcano. Oh, why can't it ever be a regular beach? Enough talk. Let's do business. Precious idols as strong as a real weapon. You're in for it now, feather face. Ship set evil wears on the warpath. Oh, like next week. Uh, Kimbot is coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on August 29th, 2024. Our friends at Antistatic Studios are here to tell you more about Phantom Line, the cooperative survival shooter where players hunt creepy anomalies. Hi, it's Chris from Antistatic Studios here. I'm excited to give you an in-depth look into our upcoming game, Phantom Line. 
let's dive in. I think we've seen plenty of trailers of this before. Tactical shooters, survival games, and immersive sims. We felt that there was no game out there that would quench our first for such a blend, so we decided to set out on a mission and create a unique blend like that ourselves. We were fans of all things psychological horror. Creepypastas, liminal spaces, urban legends, cosmic and analog horror, we got it all. In our world, the paranormal creatures and events are called the oh, no. They leak to our dimension through rifts in space and time, causing all sorts of issues for the humanity. Inspired by their incredible imagination, we started working with some of the best SCP creators out there. They already started contributing a ton to the world and depth of the lore. We played hours and hours of multiplayer survival games and we loved the exploration challenges, but grew tired of starving to death every few minutes. We want the core of the experience to be the preparation for the journey, not the desperate search of Paris. What we also missed was the tactical angle of that experience. That's why we are preparing a choice of realistic arsenal and tactics that you can choose to hunt down and fight the anomalies. You will need to survive in a war-torn environment, cut off from reinforcements or supplies. You can venture out. So like an inventory like that just like turns me off from the game. Design as a four-player co-op, but you can complete it and have fun as a single player with a spare artificial body. We call it the husk. We oh, the not to cooperate, to survive, hunt, build, and fight. Not AI co-op. No. The environment feels like it has a life of its own, not waiting for the player to progress. We are building a fast open world, driven by a true emerging gameplay with unpredictable events, ensuring that every encounter is a fresh challenge that can be solved in a number of ways. In the next demo, you will venture out into an open world in a four-player teams. So join our Discord to stay up to date and be among the first to play it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah, that kind of turned me off from the game. Mention is that as a player, you're part of Mortfield Industries. Their operations span across wide variety of activities, but their true mission is to make sure that the general public never. Wow, the lore. Phantom Line is coming soon to SCPC. Oh, I see what you did there. Do you? Yeah. Buckle up. Here's the latest update on Caravan Sandwich. Studio Plane Toast post apocalyptic driving adventure. Buckle up. It's definitely a running through the desert, collecting stuff kind of game. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Start your wish listing engines because Caravan Sandwich is coming to PC later this year. Okay, our next section is a little different. We've teamed up with Prime Video and the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, to bring you a special feature covering the most exciting upcoming fantasy games. But before what? we get into that, let's kick off this fantasy section with some exclusive footage from the Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power Season 2, and get a taste of the mini journey. Season 2? There's a Season 1? Check it out. <clears throat> There's a Season 1? <laughs> you are wired to fear this power. I've literally Someone never heard of this. Turned. The rings may well be a ploy on his part. They must be destroyed. I need your axe, old friend. Hell you say! This has friends! Fort the Huda You think it it's not good? You put yourself in my power. <laughs> Man. Imagine that's why I've never heard anyone talk about it.
Season one was torture to get through, really. Metaphor, whoa. This is, a, I mean, I guess this is fantasy. <laughs> upcoming fantasy games, we have got a bold new RPG with an electrifying art style. Metaphor Refantasio embroils players in an intrepid tournament for the throne that involves cursed princes, fairy familiars, forbidden magic, and faraway dungeons. Metaphor arrives from the minds behind Persona 3, 4, and 5. I don't know what this, what, what this voiceover for this segment it reminds me a lot of, um, like watching shows on G4 back in the day, like X Play and stuff like that. Systems that helped augment the it's very much that style. Of the epic journey ahead. Thankfully, you won't have to wait too long to set off, as Metaphor Refantasio is launching on October 11th, 2024, for PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Return, yeah. Monster Hunter Wild <clears throat> is the latest evolution in Capcom's storied lineage. G4 was so so cool back in the day. RPGs, where players scheme, <clears throat> craft, craft, and fight their way to monster mastery. Taking place. X play, cheat, attack of the show. Oh my god. Ride their raptor companions through this mighty open world, scavenging for supplies and coming face to face with formidable Animal Kingdom hybrids that require cunning plans and a catalogue of weapons to conquer. Fantasy fans should start sharpening their wits and their weapons because Monster Hunter Wilds is coming to PC and console. Murder of Tech TV. Uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, Bioware's legendary the high fantasy series has returned. In Dragon Age The Veil Guard, players step into the shoes of Rook, a customizable protagonist who must investigate perilous landscapes to rally a ragtag crew against enormous beasts and egg headed elven gods hell bent on tearing down the veil between worlds. Can you stop the realm from being torn asunder? Find out when Dragon Age The Veil Guard launches later this year on PC. PlayStation and Xbox. Welcome to the most exclusive Ooh, fable. in all of Albion. Carrying the torch lit by Lionhead Studios in the early 2000s, Playground Games' Fable reboot is a stunning reimagining of the famously funny fantasy series. It's set in the fairy tale land of Albion, where players will grapple with the burden of being a hero, as well as giant frogs and legendary beasts. Choice and consequence have always been a part of the Fable framework, and this has been teased with the introduction of fans and haters, as well as a mysterious rival hero. We'll find out more when Fable comes to PC and Xbox in 2025. Season 2 of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, will premiere on Prime Video this August 29th. You can also wish list our most anticipated fans. Yeah, the Fable Reboot I'm like interested in, but I, I need to see like actual Future games show. gameplay, not those scripted sequences. On our Steam page. Uh, but back to the trailers now, as we're taking a peek at Rogue Waters, a tactical pirate roguelite from Tripwire Interactive. The Tripwire? Betrayed. Cutter be locked in eternal battle with his foe. Navigate seven waters and choose your battles wisely. Skull and bones, oh my god. Crew and ready yourselves to board the enemy vessel. <laughs> There's no way this is a tripwire interactive. Am I going crazy? By choosing your targets wisely. Board the enemy vessel with sharp positioning and clever tactics. Victory will be yours. Legendary beast. It's like XCOM pirate game. Are you ready to settle the score? It, it is uh, Tripwire Presents. Okay, they're probably just publishing it then. Arr, consider me Timber Shiver. Rogue Waters coming to PC. I forgot they have like a publishing firm. Well, Ned and I are taking a small break from our hosting duties now as we're about <gasps> to air a series of back-to-back -back trailers. It's a classic blitz play. We've got dwarfs, demons, and dice rolls to come, so there's a little sum-sum for everyone. Let's kick it off with Dwarven Realms, a new ARPG launching in September. There's not, like, a lot of big titles dropping in the next, like, two months or so, but there's a lot of 
smaller indie titles. Which is not surprising whatsoever, but... Look at that skill tree. to make insane combos, but watch out, because Ragnarok's world-crushing bosses are no joke. Take on the Rift in style with the epic cartoon soundtrack by Brad Reed. Experience wicked comic cutscenes in Dimensional's campaign mode, or blast your way through the open rift and face incredible and unpredictable challenges. Encounter a huge cast of characters like the Rogue Rifters, here to help you take down the bad guys, or are they? Yeah, they try to go for like a 90s ad kind of thing. But I don't think they really hit the mark there. Oh my god, CSGO. Bots are really out today, huh? Chester are doing well. Your city kids are getting used to the uh, Bloom Town way of life. They started wandering all over our peaceful town. I feel like it's gonna get a little sinister. It'll do your kids some good to meet some folk with proper manners. I've put them to good use, doing some small chores around the house. It'll temper their excessive talking, I hope. Well, they're not bad kids after all. They don't go where they're not supposed to. I think they even befriended some local kids. Either way, they'll be fine. You know how nice and cozy Bloomtown can be. I don't know if it's just a me thing, but if I'm ever playing a game like this, where you do like the party versus enemies, I feel like your party should always be on the left hand side. It feels so weird to be on the right hand side. I just, I don't know, it just bothers me. <clears throat> hey guys, ready for game night? See you in five. Hey, let's play. Whoa, it's tabletop sim, but it's VR. We gotta keep Come on. 
or play solo. Wow. playing next okay I hope y'all enjoyed those trailers but now we're back and ready to introduce the next game Exoborn it's an open world extraction shooter where you fight for survival against an the extraction game. shooter here's an interview with the team at shark mob so you can learn more about it Yeah, I feel like this is going to be a, like a parallel another extraction timeline. shooter in the list of extraction shooters that near future, mankind is facing a is popular for a month and everyone goes back to Tarkov. Became really bad. Humanity rallied behind a project called Rebirth. So the the ambition with Rebirth was to save humanity, to try to stop the climate disaster. Better game and better Royale. And I, I disagree strongly. It was terribly wrong result <clears> in an even worse disaster than we originally tried to avert. And in this disaster the players kind of get caught up in a, initially uh, a bit of a mysterious conflict which you get to explore in the game and you get to figure out exactly what's going on behind the scenes but essentially you are a rebel trying to save mankind and things get progressively worse kind of like a firefight in a tornado it gets worse and worse not better and better exoborn is a tactical open world extraction shooter uh, set in a very dynamic world with forces of nature that constantly affect it's only BRs. I mean, I, I feel like execution plays a big part in BRs not doing area, super great. But, oh no, suddenly but at least like conceptually, ripping through there and you're getting the idea at the same time. of a so BR is infinitely better than an extraction shooter. It's really exciting and fresh. So when players so maybe I just need to actually sit down and play an extraction shooter for an extended amount of time, but having to constantly I just I don't get the gameplay do do? loop. How do I go after my objectives? What do I want to do now? In Exborn, you are what you carry. So if you want to do a lot of damage, you need a big gun. If you want that gun to behave in a different way, you need attachments, you need to modify that gun. And it's the same way for the X-Rig. If you want that X-Rig to, to do have different abilities, you need to find or, or buy different abilities and equip it. However, if you die, you lose it all, which means that it's very high stakes when you're out uh, in a session and you need to extract to be able to keep everything you have collected to the next session. I think people who've already sampled extraction so right, shooters like, and enjoy them... With the extraction the shooters, like they just said, enjoy, if you die, you lose everything. People who've played PvP so if you want to keep the stuff, you have to leave, you have to extract, and then potentially bring it back in. So it's like, if I want to use the stuff, then I'm not going to extract because I want to keep using it. So what's the point of extracting? Well, then I die and have to restart. And it's like, I, I don't know. You can have people come in, evaluate it, and then you build based on user feedback. The natural evolution for us from that was something we call community first, which is we always develop the game with the community in mind. And we've begun to do these closed tests where we play with... It's like that age-old meme of like, I keep all of my potions for the final boss, and then I never use a potion on the final boss, and the game's over. see how in line our thinking is with the people that we want to ultimately play our game. We listen, we look at the data, and we get a very solid understanding so we can progress and make additional content, additional features. You can wish this X born on Steam. Exactly, man. It's like, I like this item. I want to use it, but I don't want to lose it, so I'm not ever going to use it. It's like, okay, well. <laughs> what are we doing here? So born is coming soon to PC and consoles, so wish list it now. You can also sign up on the official website for future playtests. Hmm. All right, it's time for another world premiere. Oh, it's going to be a party animal guys, game. Except with flightless birds. Whoa, food. Okay, no, it actually just is Fall Guys, okay. I thought it was gonna be like one of those wacky fighting games. <laughs> so 
basically half Fall Guys, half Mario Kart. about the win-loss ratios on BRs? Well, the thing with BRs is if you're good enough, you can increase your win rate. An extraction shooter, there's no winning. You're just playing the play. Next, we've got just playing to explore. Survival game from the team that brought you Surgeon Simulator. Here's your first look at gameplay from Lost Skies. Some Bosa? Bossa? Okay, I wasn't expecting a grapple sim. We got the anthem, oh my god. Yeah, this from Boston. Interesting. Boss guys is soaring on the PC soon, so look out for it. Okay, our spotlight montage is up next, where we're gonna hone in on a set of six games launching Whoa. in the near future. Six games. Have you ever wondered if you could survive in an ever-changing post-apocalyptic landscape? Nope. Well, so I wonder no longer. With the brutal survival <laughs> simulator end zone two. Build settlements and I know for a fact I would not survive. Unforgiving world. End zone two is launching on August twenty sixth, but it's available in early access on Steam right now. <gasps> Take a trip back to the 1980s with Tormenture, a dark horror adventure starring a cursed retro cartridge that is affecting the world around you. Solve puzzles as you steel yourself to a variety of eerie disturbances and watch out for the surreal enemies that skulk in your shadowy surroundings. Tormenture is okay. soon. Okay, a little cool, a little interesting. You can check out a demo on the game's official Steam page. A third person roguelite with a delightfully gory twist Swap Meet allows players to augment themselves with the discombobulated viscera of their enemies. Inspired by games like Hades and Returnal, you'll play as an upgradable galactic meat scientist, always on the lookout for powerful leftovers. Swap Meet. Oh, uh, games are great, dude. But the first thousand players to sign up at go.playswapmeet.com slash FGS will get guaranteed access to the next playtest. Sea Power, Naval Combat in the Missile Age, is a Cold War conflict simulator from the lead designer of Cold Waters. You'll take part in tense battles for naval and air supremacy using realistically modeled vehicles and weapons. Players can enjoy- Are they gonna have uh, actual government leaks on their forums though? Where they must use their wits to respect the rules of engagement in historical and fictional <laughs> combat scenarios. Sea Power is coming soon to PC, and you can wishlist it now on Steam. Harness the fury of the elements in Stormforge, a mod-friendly survival crafting adventure set in a procedurally generated magical world. Alone or with up to eight players in co-op, you'll pilfer dangerous storms for resources and use the treasure to craft epic structures and topple deadly bosses. What secrets will you uncover as you conquer this mysterious landscape. Find out when Stormforge launches on PC in 2025. <gasps> Discover scintillating synergies in Dark Sky, a tactical deck builder with an emphasis on narrative. 
Players will explore the hostile surface of an alien planet, crafting cards and exploiting weaknesses as a band of heroes hell bent on saving their home worlds. Dark Sky is coming. May have been reading to Aryan anime this season. Oh. We're back on stage, and we've got another special segment. La la. You can't resist the allure of one more turn. Here's a special gameplay trailer <laughs> for Sid Meier's Civilization Seven. Mm, I think we're good on Civ Seven. We hope you have enjoyed that closer look at Civilization Seven. Yep, enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. That's not all. We've got an interview with the team oh, dear at God. Games, focusing on the new features coming to the game. So, check it out. Cons, you could go real internet to biz internet type. Go to my sort of you of the get is sort of the future during the end of the game, which is coming to PC, consoles, and Switch on February 11th, 2025. We've got another world premiere coming up next for an action platformer with a shape shifting protagonist. Let's check it out. Oh my god, Superman. Okay. That boy just turned into a moth. And back to a boy. Oh, I think I just got an email about this before stream. Like a Metrovania. Like nothing against this game, but like when I'm so used to Metrovanias having like the animation quality of Ori in the Blind Forest. It's hard for anything else to like compare to it, right? Like these animations look so slow or at low frame rate. It's like You're welcome. And now let's It's hard to stack up to Okay. Because we've got another ones to watch deep dive for you now. To that quality. This one's all about the end of the world. In it. <laughs> yeah, while I recover from Ned's British accent, <laughs> here's Rebellion Games to tell you more about Adam Fall. I thought my British was great. Yeah, if it's more like slowed down Metroidvania, then it's like, all right, well, now you're comparing against Hollow Knight. If it's fast paced movement, now you're competing against Ori in the Blind Forest and Will of the Wisp. Oh, yeah, the Atom Fall game. I'm Ben Fisher, I'm Associate Head of Design for Rebellion, and I'm working on Atomfall. Atomfall is a survival action game set in 1950s Yorkshire, where the player wakes up inside a quarantine zone surrounding the Windscale plant, and they have to uncover why they're there, and what has caused this quarantine, and how to survive the mysteries that they find there. With Atomfall, we wanted to try something new, and that involved bringing in lots of different reference points. One of the games that has influenced Atomfall is obviously, you can see some parts of something like Fallout in there, but also <laughs> yeah, you, games in that you don't say. Genre, like uh -huh. Metro, even a bit of Bioshock. When you start the game, you wake up in a bunker inside this nuclear quarantine zone. You don't know who you are. You don't know how you connect to this larger story. The major motivator for the player through the story is finding out how they relate to this disaster, what this disaster is, how they can escape. We don't tell you what your backstory is, but we plant clues through the game about what it might be. Uh, there are several mysteries that wow. up, but won't pay off as part of this larger world building. Part of the reason for that is to give you room to express yourself and to make those decisions yourself. But part of that as well is that the history of that- I love, I love being told this stuff won't be, you know, mysteries are not fully resolved. <laughs> I can get the payoff. Way. So it, it fits nicely with the kind of world that we're trying to build. 
we wanted the combat in this game to feel very kind of brutal, high stakes, kill or be killed uh. survival. So the combat system blends melee combat options with ranged combat. So you can find melee weapons and throw them. You can kick enemies. You can smack them with a heavy strike or jab at them with lighter strikes. And we want you to mix up these options. So you've got to choose every shot care. That combat so does not look inspiring. Intensity survival is the philosophy we had in mind when building the game. But we want to make sure as many players as possible can enjoy the play experience. So we've approached difficulty in a slightly different way and we approach it instead as different play styles. So the game has a survival element, it has a combat element and it has an investigation element. And we give the player the options at the start of the game to fine tune any of those channels of gameplay to have the play experience that they prefer. Um, we've added lots of accessibility options as well to make sure the game is playable by as many people as possible. Atomfall is coming to PlayStation 4 and 5, uh, Xbox, PC, a day one game pass in 2025. Core, blimey. Investigate the apocalypse when Adam Fall lands on PC and consoles in 2025. It's getting it was, better. Uh, it's it great. Irish, kind of. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's great. It's like Roger Clark. God help me. <laughs> this next game was revealed during our spring showcase earlier this year. It is a cult simulator that puts players in service of the eldritch gods. So here's the latest update on the Worshippers of Cthulhu. Peggy 18. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Now I'm remembering this game. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think my words for this were... <laughs> this is not the type of game that I'd normally play, but if I was going to play one, it'd be this. I'm not really a city builder kind of guy, but you know, for Cthulhu, maybe, maybe we can make an exception. Worshippers of Cthulhu is coming to PC and consoles on October 21st, 2024. All right. Now it's time to check in with Spirit of the Samurai, an adventure game inspired by Japanese mythology. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's supposed to have like a stop motion-y kind of feel to it. Super low frame rate. Cute cat. Oh, the cat does damage. <laughs> A lot of games are kind of going for like the claymation, low FPS visual these days. There's quite a few. I, I, I don't get it. I, I personally am not a fan. Spirit of the Samurai is coming to PC in right, 2024. Now we've got an update on Starship Troopers Extermination. Let's see what Offworld has been cooking. We got Helldivers 3. We got. Hi, I'm Chaz Barker. I'm the lead game designer of Starship Troopers Extermination. Let me tell you about something we're introducing to the game. This is this monstrosity of a tank, but in bug shape. The game's been dead for a while. Uh, no, but they're adding more stuff. Different moves that it's going to ruin your day with. We're trying Can't be to dead. make the tanker bug experience as close to the movie as possible. Do as much damage as possible before he probably gets mad at you. I'm Tamiris Spara, aka Tammy. I'm the lead environment artist on Starship Troopers Extermination. Boreas. This is an icy planet that has been infected by a bug meteor. The bugs have had time to mutate and evolve within that frosty environment. 
that's where our players are going to be able to encounter the Frost Drone and the Frost Warrior. So we're very excited to introduce this new biome to you guys, and we really hope that you guys enjoy it. Maybe though they're still making it. I'm Peter Marie, Let me introduce you to a game. Troopers Extermination. Our goal for single player is to introduce a new way to progress your character <laughs> and prepare you for 16 player multiplayer. A really cool aspect that we wanted was bringing General Rico in. He's now in charge of a special operations group. He's forming the best of the best from all military. Best branches, of the best of the best, he's sir. Invited you to come and try out for a special operations group. When we launch in console in October of 2024, that is just the start of a very robust roadmap of features and gameplay moments that we'll be bringing in. So you can expect to see tons more bugs and worlds to explore in Starship Troopers Extermination. Starship Troopers is launching on PC and consoles in October 2024. But if you can't wait to fry some bugs, it's already available in early access. <laughs> Here's a gameplay trailer for Los Pingueros, a multiplayer snowball brawler where you duke it out with your buddies in melting arenas. Cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. Oh, I can dig that. Uh, you would. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's certainly a game. Spingeros is coming soon for PC and Nintendo Switch. Now, if you remember, during the Summer Showcase, the Future Game Show launched a new initiative to spotlight up and coming indie games. We called on developers to submit their games in a tight 45 second format. Kind of like an uh, indie elevator pitch, if you will. Hmm. Well, our inbox has been overwhelmed with creativity, and the crew behind the scenes have picked out some of their favorite examples to share with the world. Do you want to take a look? I do. Okay, I'm okay. Dana, and I work on Projected Dreams with my friends at Flowberry Studio. The story of Projected Dreams is about a little girl named Zenka and her mother. Together, they tell stories and animate them through shadow play on the wall. After moving houses, Zenka is left to tell stories by herself and uses her mother's old photo album as an inspiration for her fantastical dreams. Solve puzzles by dragging, rotating and stacking toys from Senka's room to recreate shadow silhouettes on the wall to uncover key events from her mother's cool. past. Projected Dreams echoes the comforting feeling of playing in your bedroom during warm summer nights and slowly unfolding the stories of the people closest to you. The game will release early next year on PC and Mac, so be sure to wishlist Projected Dreams on Steam. Could see myself playing that. My name is Martinez, and along oh with my God. Mantas, we are the developers of Haunted I'm Mansion. I'm for it. Where you play as two puppies trying to rescue their human friend trapped inside a haunted mansion. You'll have to work together to complete puzzles and sneak past monsters that live inside the mansion. The whole experience is focused on two-person multiplayer, so it's perfect for couples and friends alike. We'll feature both local split screen and online multiplayer. Ah, oh, hell no, I'm out. <laughs> Not the spider, dude. The game and can then invite their friend to play for free. The game also has a full range of customization options for your playable character, which allows you to bring your real-life dog into the game. Haunted Paws will be coming to Steam and major consoles, but we still haven't decided on the release date yet. In the meanwhile, you can follow us on social media for development updates, and don't forget to wish us on Steam so Haunted you know when the game is out. Cute. Hi, I'm Pablo Coma from Roblo Games, and I'm super excited to tell you more about Necrostory. Necrostory is a light-hearted RPG where you play as a powerful and kind of evil necromancer. You cast powerful necromancy spells, raise armies of skeletons, sign dark packs with demons so that you can later transform into them, and most importantly, you can't them play solo, what, you don't have any friends? Away in order to take control of them. Well, I'm imagine After gaming alone. Creators, you can How sad. The skills and equipment of your teammates. You can also upgrade each of your own spells using their dedicated skill trees. Necrostory will be available for PC and consoles in September 2024. Hi, 
I'm Alex, and I'm a solo dev working on a multiplayer action RPG called Sword Eye. Sword Eye is an extraction looter that combines the fast-paced directional combat you'd find in games like Lord Howe or Chivalry with massive multiplayer dungeon crawls. Not the melee extraction Enter shooter. Enter dungeon alone or with friends, battle your way through monsters, bosses, and other players, and escape with your loot alive. I'm building the game I've always wanted to play, and I can't wait to share it with you all. So visit the Steam page to wishlist the game and sign up for the next free playtest. Please be sure to wishlist those games on Steam and support their development. And if you'd like to take part in the Indie Elevator pitch, just follow the link on the screen to find all the details on how to submit your game. Yeah, right, link on the screen. Things we on? And take a trip to Bionic Bay. All right. This atmospheric puzzle platform. Oh, yeah, I've seen this a lot on Twitter. Mechanical world. So I clip of this like every other week. <clears throat> I, I, all of all of these little segments I've seen clips of. They just like piece together now. Looks pretty cool though. It's a crazy amount of pixels per like thing. Like one of the trees, I don't know if it was that one that was showcased there. But it was like a million pixels for that tree alone. Something like that. coming alive. Yeah, game looks pretty cool. Bionic Bay is coming to PC in 2025, but of course you can wish list it right now. <gasps> I can. I'm getting tired of all these world premieres because we've got yet another one coming up. What? No way. The rift took us all by surprise. Mistralia was about to vanish into oblivion. But when the goddess called, I answered. Whoa. Hades 3. It's a big world out there. Don't be afraid to take the wrong path. If nothing else, it'll make a good story. Collect the world's memories to shape the powers within you. Seeing all these games that like remind me of Hades, it's like I just want Hades 2 to come out of early access so I can play it. Our guardians seem to have forgotten who they are. It's been a struggle not to just play it as is. Memories of the world enlighten me. And give me the strength to face the shadows that threaten me. <sighs> Memories await. Looked all right. Unleash your magical creativity in Echoes of Mistralia, which is coming soon. 
We're going back to back with the world premieres just to keep you on your toes. This next one is a beloved reimagining of a terrifying Half-Life mod. Half-Life, love it. A Half-Life mod? Oh, from Insound Mind, okay. Insound Mind was okay, pretty cool. Intrigued. Seems very in sound mindy. <laughs> Nightmare House. Reimagined. Yeah, looks cool. In sound mind started off very horror and then it went very action y and then it got really weird in the final stages, but. That looks cool. Nightmare House Reimagined is opening its doors to PC players in 2025. The developers are also bringing the original Nightmare House mod to Steam. So watch out for that in the near future. <laughs> All right, it's time so for a Half-Life mod that wasn't on so Steam before? Is this ready? Well, we take a breather. Oh, man. Interesting. World premiere. He just put his whole feet in that basin. Medieval zombie game? God save Birmingham. Do you fear death? Most mortals do. No, but I but fear you. Accept it. There is power. This music is way too. <laughs> Way too intense for what I'm seeing on screen. Back again, are you? Come now. You can do better than that. Action roguelite shooter. Some real cyberpunk music. I'm 
Control, this is dispatch. Could you actually play in first person? Or is it just something for the trailer there? <gasps> Nudity. I write these lines from a lost monastery in the Pyrenees, whose name and existence few know. Although I came here as a guest, I am now a prisoner. Game has nudity in it? Luckily, I am not alone. A group of companions and I are planning our escape. We must confront violence, corruption, and our own fears. Thus begins our tale. May God have mercy on our souls, or whatever is left of them. The Stone of Madness. Welcome back. Uh, what's up next, Ned? Well, Beyond Galaxy Land is a stylized cyberpunk RPG adventure. And we got some news about when you can get your hands on it. Peggy 7. As the very universe unravels. And all life hangs in the balance. Game of the year contender, huh? Believing in heroes. Um, guys? Stranded a billion light years from home. No idea if Earth still even exists. And a sentient gas cloud devouring the cosmos? You're not gonna save this universe alone. Skyrocket across the far reaches of the galaxy to assemble a ragtag crew of specialists. That yeah. Might just I heard Cosmos pronounced that way. Cosmos. Though so with every planet teeming with galactic nemeses and a secret power manipulating reality from behind the curtain. Defending oh, it's showed on. And space might be easier said than done. Looks like an all right game. Beyond Galaxy Land. Plummeting to Earth on September 24th. Wishless now. Uh, guys? Beyond Galaxy Land is coming to PC and consoles on September 24th, later this year. This next section, the ones to play montage, features games with demos available on Steam. So. Oh, is the one on the left the one that uh, I may have also seen on Twitter qu quite a bit? Sounds like really. First up is Miniatures, an anthology of dreamlike adventures about childhood. Ooh, this is cool. Next up, we've got Anima Flux, a cooperative Metroidvania set in a desolate far future world. And here's yeah, tiny, yeah, yeah. a relaxing sandbox game where you doodle digital castles in pastoral environments. I've seen so many clips of that game. Or how about Office Fight, a physics-based puzzle game where you break stuff because work sucks. Damn, so true. Last but not least, here's Wilmot Works It Out. It's a cozy game where you put together jigsaw puzzles. That was our ones to play montage. If you want an easy way to find all those games, check out our official future. What does this screen have to do with any of that? <laughs> Well, our friends at Thunderful have sent over the launch trailer for SteamWorld Heist 2. Ooh. Let's check it out. I'm in. I didn't see any like dinosaur game there. Oh, yes, must be fast. 
Oh yeah, the UFC is gonna go crazy. <clears throat> All the Steam World games. Honestly, I didn't even know there were like this many. I didn't realize it was a big franchise. It seems even robots can't resist a big score. Steam World Heist 2 is out now on PC and <gasps> out now. Our next game stars a novelist pup who is learning to live in a world after war. And don't uh, let the I think I also saw this on Twitter. That gorgeous. Yesterday? No, as I saw this on Steam, I think this game's already out. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Reminded me of like Professor Layton. Aesthetically. I don't, I don't know what the gameplay is. I mean, gameplay seems like you're just walking around talking to people a bunch, but these stakes are cute. <laughs> yep, you saw that right. Sunset Hills is out now on PC, and a console release is coming soon. Hmm. Okay, it's time for the final entry in our ones to watch yearbook now. It's a cannon simulator with an exceptionally long name, but thankfully the developers have shortened it to PVKK. Oh, come on, that's no fun. No guts, no glory. I'm gonna do this thing, all right? What's the actual name? Let me try it out. Okay, so this game is called Planet and Antipendent D Bing Gun Nailed it! I know, you know what? Uh, never mind. Screw it. Let's just roll the interview. Good what idea. are these guys doing to me? Yeah, I see the the guy I made the like real life tank sim. I think over in China. It may have been for this game, I don't know. Mm. Got like friends loading up soda bottles to fire as the cannon. I'm Rene, I work at Bippin Pits and we are a small indie Bippin developer. Bippin Pits. Germany. We are working on Planetenverteidigungskanonen Kommandant, or PVKK in short, and essentially it's space invaders, but the cannon you fire is really complicated. In PVKK, oh, you are game. in the small bunker and you are tasked with fending off an interplanetary invasion uh, from space, so you shoot down spaceships. Maybe you've been wondering if PVKK is a horror game even, or a narrative game. And really, it's a simulation game, but a very approachable one. Not, not that you need to study a big manual for very long. We do have a lot of narrative parts and mystery parts that are intended to give more reason to actually firing the cannon. So you get some story with that, and you know why you're doing that. Attention, Commander. Stand by for mission debriefing. Commander, your service today was at the expected level. I wanted to explain a little bit uh, what you actually do in the cockpit. Uh, so first of all you manage the energy levels so you have different types of generators depending on where you are at the game uh, and you generate energy uh, to use with your cannon and, and in your wow. then you need to monitor the space where the spaceships come in uh, and try to land on on your planet and uh, you need to identify them detect them uh, classify them and then you need to make a plan how you want to approach that situation. If you've chosen a weapon or a target, you go into this long firing sequence where you just uh, yeah, pick your ammunition, get it ready for firing, and then you have to basically 
calculate at which angle you have to shoot the gun. Jesus because Christ. Because are moving at a certain speed and you know your projectile is moving at a certain speed. So you have to calculate how much you need to... I'm sure this is someone's like fantasy game to play, but... And get everything ready without using energy. And I would hate this. <laughs> And this, depending on the ship size, this has to be a really uh, well done sequence because there are larger ships and there you don't need to be super precise, uh, but you can also be really precise. Like you can hit a two meter target at a 15 kilometer distance if you calculate correctly, even with the big gun. Our goal is to release Planetenverteidigungs Kanon Commandant 2025 on Steam, which listed now. And join our Discord to not miss anything and chat with us. Who knew managing a planetary defense cannon could be so cozy? PVKK is blasting its way onto PC in 2025. Net? There's an obnoxious rodent on the loose. Thankfully not in the studio, but let's keep an eye out. Squirrel with a gun? It's not just any pest, all right? Alex, this squirrel has got a gun. Yeah. In a world of peace and tranquility. This is SWAG Morning Homeowners News. Homeowners now are causing significant power outages. A hidden truth lies beneath the surface. An ordinary rodent's fate is within his grasp. Now this squirrel is here to eat nuts and shoot some guns. And guess what? He's all out of nuts. <laughs> Expect sandboxing, puzzle solving, and gun slinging action in the platform epic you never knew could exist. Hold on to your nuts. The food chain's got a new hierarchy. Get ready for Squirrel with a Gun. Coming soon to Steam and Epic. Mm -hmm. And coming Next week. to PS5 and Xbox Series X and S this fall. Stick em up. Squirrel with a Gun is coming to PC on August 29th with a console release later this year. It's over to you, Ned. Okay, well, let's take a closer look at One-Eyed Lico. This is a psychological horror game inspired by Slavic mythology. Хорошо с тобой в тридесятом царстве, кузнец. Как в божий день. Отдыхаешь душой. Я просто хочу выбраться отсюда. Хм, где еще ты найдешь такую компанию? Я ищу лихо. Ничто погодить ему впасть. Да ну, а для чего? Чтоб черт. Да бес его знает, портной. Говорят, кто ступил в темный лес, не уйдет прежний. Выдержи его испытания. Бродей сквозь чрево мертвеца. Умри и сам воскресни. Ну что, готов? Нет! Стой! Погоди! Лихо! У тебя гости! Interesting. I hope the whole game's not in that like vertical camera. Well, Lico is coming soon, and you can wish list it on Steam. All right, we're closing in on the end of the show, but that doesn't Looked mean we don't though. have any tricks left up our sleeve. Yeah, you know this game was revealed at Gamescom last year, but we've seen nothing else about it until now. <laughs> Gamescom last year. Sometimes things don't go as planned. And sometimes. Digging. Always. 
searching for answers we should have never asked. Well, I guess you know what this is. Always clawing at the surface like worms begging for food. A lack of understanding to push what we don't. Yeah, it looks fine. Something should be left alone. like to see some actual gameplay there. Retrieval is a haunting horror adventure built in Unreal Engine 5, and it's coming soon to PC and consoles. Well, unfortunately, that also means our GamesCon showcase has come to an end. No, there's not one last thing? Wait, there's still more stuff after this. Oh, Might be interview stuff. Well, it's been in my honor. <laughs> well, you know now we're outlaws for laugh. <laughs> I'd also like to thank everyone at home for tuning in. You might want to stick around, though, as even though we're getting out of here, the Future Game Show expansion pack is coming up right after this, Damn. with even more trailers and deep dives into games like Post Trauma and Tiny Glade. Hey, don't miss it. There will also be some follow-up content on GamesRadar.com, as well as our FGS social channels on YouTube and TikTok. <laughs> and make sure you follow up on any games that caught your eye today. Drop a wish list. Play really does. I'm Alex. Games Okay, not gonna watch through the expansion stuff if it's just gonna be more on the the same games, which is cool. Another another handful of interesting titles from there. So the future game show usually has some pretty cool indie games to look forward to. Um, both showcases, you know, nothing mind blowing, nothing. I'm like super shocked, like oh my god, I need it right now today, but. Some great games to add to the wish list for sure.